Hey guys, just recently we reviewed Fractal Torrent Nano and I mentioned that it looks like an interesting case for full custom water cooling loop. Well, the time is now. We've managed to secure all the components and we can't wait to start the build. I'd like to say special thanks to ASOS, Bitspower, Fractal Design and Techware for helping us with the parts. This is actually going to be my personal rig and it will feature some border components, including Intel 12900K and RTX 3080, the 12 gigabyte version. Spoiler alert, not everything went as planned, and I certainly learned a lot. I hope you learned from my mistakes, and without further ado, let's get into it. Also, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So the idea behind this build is to install three radiators uh, all around the perimeter of the case while keeping the power supply at the top. But first, I need to remove this huge fan which is a shame because I actually would have liked to use a 180 mil uh, radiators, but they're not really that common. Um, so it's kind of a bit of a struggle in the world out there for that. I think it's a little bit better on the um, compact and on the full size torrent because you can store the larger 180 mil radiator and then use two of these fans, which is pretty beastly actually. I like the sound of this fan makes because uh, it has more of a lower pitch hum and it pushes loads of air. It's pretty cool for this size. Right, let me just grab the rest. Uh, the keen eye of you will notice that we still have a power supply for the, from the review that we did. So this fan goes all the way around. That's a shame to take off this beautiful fan, but yeah, it's got to go. So now I need to take off these brackets uh, for the front. So with the brackets for 180 mil taken out, you can install the other front bracket. This bracket here supports 120 and 140 mil fans, so you need to determine which ones you actually want to use. So, I need to go into this hole, I believe. So, wait, oh, that makes it one. Correct, I need to make it the 120s, which is this one. Yeah. Okay. I must say, I do like uh, convertible cases, it does make your life somewhat easier. Also, you, when you pay a lot of money for a case like this, you get multiple lines out of it. Because just because you need something, just because you built something in one way now, doesn't mean you can't rebuild it for something else. Or it might also be very useful for resale value in the future. There we go. So let's just double check. So I'm just gonna take a quick radiator. <sighs> So if that goes in here, if it just about fits, there you go, it fits in the right way. We'll probably be mounting it above, but I'm not sure yet. So, okay. next stage is to mount some fans to these radiators and just do a quick test fit. We'll more just hold it in place and see if things are actually gonna fit in the right places. So, we're using for water cooling in this case, we're using a BITS power kit. There's a whole stack of different devices. So we've got two large radiators. The idea is to have them on each side here. And then I'm also planning to install a smaller radiator here at the back. It's gonna be a tight fit, that's for sure. But if it all works out, this is gonna look like a really cool loop. And um, I also somehow need to put a uh, pump res combo here. Uh, that's probably gonna be a lot more fun. I'm not sure how I'm gonna mount it at all yet. So I've got a bunch of fans. I have to figure out what to do with this. It comes with fan and RGB head, um, fan and RGB control board. Nice, so at least 
these look like they can be daisy chained. So you can just only need one cable going towards them for RGB. Unfortunately, only RGB. I wish it was also daisy chained for fans. But. Okay, so let's do a quick install. This could be pointing this way, so we want it to be exhaust. And we probably want the cables to go behind, so I'm gonna leave it at the back. After a quick bit of screwing, uh, I've got all three radiators ready with the fans. As you can see, I've um, got them in the pull configuration, um, and all the cables are kind of hidden towards the back. So. If we look in the case, the cables are going to go towards the back so we can hide them away. Um, not looking forward to cable management, so that's going to be a fun little project for later. For now, what I want to do is see if this is actually all going to fit. So, the idea is to have one radiator at the bottom. And to be honest, I'm already seeing uh, that it's probably going to be a bit too tight because we've still got to put the power cables for the graphics card and the graphics card needs to be here it's already intruding onto the slot so I think that's going to be a bust already then the front radiator should be all right and I can mount it lower or higher I think I'll probably go for the lower position I'm just going to do a quick install of this radiator just as a sample so it's not just laying down there it seems that using a two screw method um, makes your life a little bit easier when you have to change things around. Because inevitably, on you know, a small case like this, I'm gonna have to change things around a lot. Front actually doesn't look too bad, but the bottom is gonna have issues for it. I think I'm gonna have to change these fans to a thinner fan, potentially even the radiator, but because that's no, no way in hell that's gonna fit. Okay, so let's quickly do that. In the, well, actually, I'll do that in a bit. Um, Let's do a quick, quick test fit for this as well. The one thing that's really nice about this case is how wide it is. So even though I've I just installed a 120 mil radiator or fan radiator set, um, there's still plenty of space around it, which is pretty surprising. All right. As you can see here, the graphics card just can't fit because it's already intruding onto the top slot. Even though the graphics card already has a water block on it, it is still about one, one and a bit slots. Um, so it just won't fit here any way that we can try. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try first with just changing these fans out for uh, slimmer. Uh, well, we've got Noctua and um, uh, Arctic, so either one will work. But at the moment we're just doing a test fit, so give me a moment, I'll swap them out and then we can try again. So with a quick swap out, we've installed Arctic Slim Fans. Just a rough install for now. Um, there's two added benefits. They don't have RGB, so they may not look as cool, but they actually have less cables and also they can be daisy chained together, which is actually a really cool thing when you're making this kind of build, as I mentioned before. Um, so you can join them up, and this way. And just plug this one straight into the motherboard or the controller. Uh, the other thing is, I think, if we look closely, we now have just a, a bit more than a slot. So, with these fans, I think we might be okay without the need of swapping out the radiator. So, what we'll do next is install the motherboard and then add the graphics card and see if that actually works out. So, I took out the radiators just so we have a bit more access for this. That's the beauty of working in smaller cases. And uh, from a previous experience just building in this particular case, it's best to plug in the CPU power connector straight away as it gets a bit tight in there. Should do that now. Uh, by the way, we're actually using cable extensions from a Techway in this. Uh, I think I may have mentioned that earlier, but um, I don't see a point of using cable extensions at the top here because you can't really see them anyway. There we go, make sure it's all aligned, all nice and clear. It's useful to have a longer screwdriver to get into those tight little corners. Now looking at this board from here, I'm kind of thinking 
a bit of RGB and kind of all going just black and uh, silver, black and chrome. Kind of looks nice anyway. I'm not even sure if I need RGB. But I think you can leave the RGB light in there. Just don't have to enable them, right? Okay, so that's the motherboard in. Um, graphics card. For graphics card, we're using RTX 3080, the 12 gigabyte version that came out uh, earlier this year. So it's a bit of a beast. Also, a tiny bit expensive. Right, before we put that in, so that's just gonna be for measuring. Now, um, I need to take off the back. So we've got these things off, and also I need to take off the filter. Let's just do a little test fit. So for this radiator, let's go in here. I think I'm going just here. Actually, I think I might be okay just kind of mounting it as is. Go. I have access to it. Okay, so screws. Now. These cables need to be hidden away at the back somewhere. So for now, I'm just gonna just leave them here because we can pull them out later. And for the graphics card, these are the power cables, which need to be at the front. So I can't really pull them underneath the graphics card, underneath the, obviously the radiator. I'm just wondering if they'll be long enough to go around, which I don't think they will. Yeah, this could be interesting. Let's give this a little test. If the graphics card even fits at all. That would be a resounding no. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to take the radiator off again. I told you. I had a feeling that it's not going to be done in one go. Okay. So if I try to put the graphics card in first. Let's just assume that that just fits properly and it stays there. Is there any way for me to put this, slot this radiator below it? I think there's space for it. Just how to add it there? Does the, the can I undo the whole bottom and take the actual bottom off? No, they're riveted. You can see rivets, so that means the bottom is not removable. Have another radiator, which is even slimmer. And let's see if this would fit. Not like this, but what if I? So if this was here, this way. So after a little bit of finessing. I come, I'm coming to a conclusion that even if we put the slimmest possible radiator here, uh, just simply because these fans and everything else is interfering, uh, there's not enough space to put, put tubes in between without, I don't know, actually, there's no, no way to do it at all. Which leaves me in a really awkward position where I was really hoping to get three radiators in here, but with all the cables and the tubes and everything else, I don't think it's actually physically possible. Uh, the best I can do is add some fans at the bottom just to add airflow throughout the case. 
Um, and even that's going to be not the most useful, I don't think. So after a little bit of uh, messing around, we came to a conclusion that it's basically impossible to install a graphics card, a radiator and fans at the same time, even if they're in a slim profile. So therefore we're going to have to go with just fans below uh, to get a, li a little bit of uh, airflow to go through the case and we're gonna have to mess around a bit more with the routing of everything but this the plan i've got so far is to mount this pump without these brackets different brackets up to the radiator and the fan combo here so they'll just kind of it'll just kind of hold on to this then use this out port to kind of have the tube coming out go here put a splitter in so we can have an easy way of draining the uh, loop in the future then go up Use this port here as the import and come out of this, go across to a import here, out into the CPU cooler, out from CPU cooler, we're gonna need to get to here, so there's gonna be a few angles. And then we have to go from here back to the top of this reservoir because this particular combo does not have a side import. So we have to get from here, probably gonna go up across to the back probably like a turn and a cross and then we need to end up down here. Uh, that's gonna be a complicated one. Uh, I also have a flow meter uh, that I wanna install, but even though this is a big case, there is still a very limited amount of space. So I think the next step is gonna be to kind of mess around with this and just see what actually works. And then we'll give you an update when we get there. With all of this, uh, I think we're gonna have to mess around a bit more and uh, we'll see you guys in part two. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. See you guys.